Hey, what's up, Muscle and Strength? IFBB Pro Brett Wilkin here. <laughs> what's up, Muscle and Strength? IFBB Pro Brett Wilkin here, and I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating. I start my morning out, so I make my green shake. So I call this a greens concoction because it's a lot more than greens, it has a little bit of everything. I'll take this with like my morning pills as well, my, you know, my health pills, my immune multis, my kidney protectors, everything like that. So I'll do that after the cardio and everything. Um, and that kind of starts out the day. Um, this is just the first time I've ever had a prep in the winter. So it's kind of different, you know, just kind of just the morning routine part where you have to come out and clean off your car and you barely have body fat on you since everything's cold. But hey, that's what makes you tougher and makes more memories. So we started, we started about 12 weeks out. Like I said, we were already in a good position with a good off season. So it was more so just, you know, flip the switch and get after it. So Matt called me up, you know, probably two, you know, three months ago now. And he said, let's do, let's do the Arnold, man. This is your, this is your time. This is your chance. And I said, let's fucking do it. And it's been head down since that. And it's been a, been a great, great prep. And I can't wait until we all see the finish in here in four weeks. Came in at already a good spot that we just kind of kept this 20 minutes in the entire time five days a week and so my body's just continued to respond off it i've leaned out you know hitting all the markers on matt's checklist in regards to conditioning that we don't have to if you start doing too much cardio too early so say you start your prep and you're just like i'm doing five days of 60 minutes right away where do you go from there you know when you get six weeks in your body weight stops dropping, your body fat starts just stops dropping. Where do you go from there? You gotta go to an hour and a half cardio, and two hours cardio, and two and a half hours cardio. Like, you put yourself in a hole. So it's about, like I said, starting out lower and getting the most out of the least, and then making the changes as needed, as truly needed. Last night, we officially started my YouTube channel. So Brett the Butcher Wilkin, I'll be doing a lot of content, you know, leading up to the Arnold. So I'm excited about this, man. Try, try just like this. See if you can get rid of some. So much noise in there. Yeah, right there. Well, you know, as they get, as everybody gets in shape, you know, it starts to look better. You adjust a little bit because uh, sometimes when you're eight weeks out, things look a little bit different than when you're like three or four weeks out. So you just adjust the pose. And if he likes it, then it's good. <laughs> Great bodybuilders in Colorado, huh? Seriously, man. <laughs> Being able to keep that waist controlled and smaller while putting on mass has been a big benefit. It's gonna be a strong point for me. And it comes down to these stuff. Like I'm in here five, four or five mornings doing just abs after pictures and posing. This is one of my favorite splits I do. So I'll do the hanging leg raises, 20 to 25. And I'll come down here and I'll actually sit on this. Now I'm not gonna take credit for this. I actually just saw this on uh, Charles Glass's YouTube not too long ago. So this is a way to kind of work your obliques without building them.
All right, we're back at the crib for meal one. So I have 13 and a half ounces of egg whites. I have two whole eggs in here. I have 125 grams of oats, quick oats that are grounded down, 20 grams of almond butter, and 50 grams of blueberries. This is a really good shake for me. I digest it very well, very convenient. So I might sometimes, you know, stay at the gym after doing all that morning stuff and just work there. So I'll just take this with me and get it down easy. So outside of, you know, obviously training and living the, the bodybuilding competitive lifestyle, especially with prep, a lot of time goes into that too. But obviously there's a lot more time throughout the day and, you know, people kind of wonder what else, you know, goes on in, in, you know, in our lives in that aspect. So my wife and I, so Ivana Ivusic and myself, we, you know, we run a business here called Team Conquer Culture. Um, so that's just kind of our encompassing, our coaching, you know, personal training, um, you know, lifestyle clients, overall just our business uh, model in general. And it's just her and I, you know, she coaches a lot of females. Um, I coach a lot of males. And um, this is kind of what keeps us busy and kind of what, honestly, what kind of started it all. I'm good at seeing the bigger picture of things. And you know, this is, you know, this has been a very good resource here to start here in Denver. And it's kind of really propelled us and I continue why I want to continue to stay here for a while until our next big opportunity arises. Meal two, this is my pre-workout meal. About to go down, then we're gonna head to the gym. Um, so after this morning, after we did, you know, progress picks, send them over to the coach, uh, Matt Jansen, you know, that dictates my day. We decided to, we're gonna do high meals. So I have a baseline day, like I said, and a high day. We're gonna do high meals for meals two and three. So that's pre-workout and post-workout. Today we are doing 150 grams of the rice and grinds here. Put in two minutes. Seven ounces? Eight ounces. We have 35 grams of nut butter here too. Right now with prep, I can eat a little bit closer because it digests faster. But anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I got you with, with this schedule, you know, with always being, always being busy, that's kind of, you just have to do it. You can't, I can't sit around too much or I'll, like I said, you'll fall behind on meals and be up all night. So every two and a half to three hours, I'm putting something, <laughs> I'm eating some kind of food. So it's just, it's constant, but that's what we got to do to, to do what we do. And once you just get over that and just do it, and that's when the results happen. Doing All a little bro sausage. chat live here, no, so we got. That's definitely everywhere. They might call it something else like a rosé. Dan in the like, studio on the bro chat today for a little oh, bit. What's up? Sure. What's up, guys? Is that Dan? Oh, Dan the man. What up, bro? Dan, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> it's just been a little bit different here. This, you know, still figuring out my body. You know, I'm, I'm years behind experience. You know, from James and Ian. So it's still seeing new shit. I, you know, a lot more muscle maturity this time around. Yeah. You know, seeing you know, seeing things that came in early and they like, stuck in and like just shit I haven't seen before. And so it's just kind of figuring these things out. Um, I, you know, I've been able to eat a little bit more this prep, obviously, and I've used that in the training. It's been so efficient. So like, I haven't seen any dip in strength, which has been awesome.
So we're here, we're running errands. Ivana's trying to figure out this new electrical vehicle that we're loaning out. We can't figure it out, so. Always on the go, but I got meal three in here. We trained 20 minutes ago. I just wasn't ready to eat yet, so I got it in the car here. So we're doing a high, or it's a high post workout and pre-workout. You already saw the pre. So post is gonna be very similar. It's gonna be 150 grams of rice and grinds from Pride Foods with 20 grams of almond butter on top of it. So 150 rice and grinds, 20 grams almond butter. And then protein source is just so 60 grams worth of protein from a whey isolate. So this is a good post-workout, get it in quick, feed the muscles we just you know tore down in that good back session. Um, so I'll get this down and I'll eat again here probably in an hour and a half. I'll get a little bit quicker for meal four. But for now, let's eat, refuel, and keep going about our day. I know you like sweet potato. Do you like sweet potato? What's your favorite food? Sweet potato, red meat, and apples. Tell them, yes, you don't get any right now. You get your own, no. Who is this? <laughs> this is Roscoe. Roscoe came from Serbia about five months ago. He's 11, month, oh, 11 months old now. And he is my best friend. <laughs> nah, he's great. Ivana brought him over from Serbia. He's a Legato, Legoto Romagnolo. It's an Italian breed dog. So obviously he's hypoallergenic. So everybody thinks he's a, a freaking doodle, but he's not a doodle. He's a special dog, um, but he's been great. He's been, he's been an awesome dog. It's been fun. So with that said, we go to meal four. So this is the meal I do after. So I did the, watch out Bubba. So now we're eating 250 grams of chicken, 300 grams of sweet potato, and then that stuff sprinkled on top there is some of the new fit butter I just got. Um, so that should be good on top of that. But um, usually I use almond butter, but my almond butter is over in the truck. We have to go get it, but this is, the, this is a blend of it, so it'll work. And I put a little bit of cinnamon on there and sea salt. So if you've never had cinnamon, almond butter, and sea salt on sweet potato, I dare you to try it. We got meal number five here going down. This is my happy place. It's 8 p.m. I'm watching some, I'm watching some bro chat. So it's a, it's a good time to be. So this is my, finally my relaxed time. You know, I got, still got another meal after this, but this is kind of when I wind down. This is one of my favorite meals of the day. I do this all year round, but this is just that old steak and rice. So I got nine ounces of steak. I got, this is one of those um, rice bowls that I use, the Bibigo. It's 70 grams worth of carbs um, that comes into, you know, in a, in a microwave rice bowl. I just pour it on here. So we got 70 grams worth of carbs from rice. And in the middle here is the secret sauce. It's the butcher sauce. So it's like a chimichurri dipping sauce. Um, so really, really good on steak. I always have it on my steak. Um, so this is a staple. You know, we even got this down, you know, we even got this done out in the cold. Um, so this is gonna taste even, any, even better. So I'm gonna watch this, hang out, feed everybody here. Um, and enjoy the rest of the night. This is it, meal six is here. Um, then it's off to bed. So to finish it out, we have five ounces of chicken with three whole eggs and then 130 grams of oats with 20 grams of peanut butter. So I mix that up with some cinnamon. Um, you know, whole bunch of eating today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, whole day is a, had a fun time doing it. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and uh, make sure you like this video as well. Thank you.